Hello, my name is Stuart Scott. I'm one of the trainers here at Cloud Academy, specializing in AWS, Amazon Web Services. Let's first go back a bit to understand how blockchain came about. To do that, I want to talk to you about the basic principle of financial transactions between two or more parties. We are all aware that if you want to send money from one party to another, for example, from one organization A to another B, the transaction would have to go through a central trusted point to manage that transaction. In this instance, it would normally be a central bank which would govern, assess and control the flow of money. The bank would ensure that organization A had enough funds within their selected account before transferring the money to organization B. And the transaction may include the need for a change of currency depending on the location of organization B. This type of transaction would likely include a small charge which the bank would deduct from you as the sender for providing the service. In addition to this, it could also take a number of days to complete the transaction. Blockchain was created to manage and secure the same transfer of funds using a distributed ledger, but a lot quicker and without that centralized hub that deducted money for performing the service of secure transfer, which was performed by the bank in the previous example. However, Blockchain primarily handles the transactions between parties using cryptocurrencies. Although the blockchain technology and the use of distributed ledgers could be used for other means. For this course, however, I shall focus on how blockchain is used to control the flow of cryptocurrency transactions. This course has been designed for those who have had no prior experience with blockchain technology. I will explain all concepts and methods from the ground up, allowing you to understand what it is and what it's used for. The lectures within this course consist of why was blockchain created, how does blockchain work, and blockchain miners and what they do. The objectives of this course are as follows. To understand what blockchain is and why it is used, to be able to explain the different components involved with blockchain, understand when and why you may want to use blockchain within your environment, and to understand at a high level what cryptocurrency is. It has been designed to explain what the technology is and how it works at a high level along with the different components of blockchain. Now we have a clear understanding of what is required, let's get started with the training.